Hello and welcome to the first video in the set of videos that talk about ICT-1, ESA's latest development to test current and voltage transformer as well as combined transformers. In the first video we will explain how to connect your CT. So we have one CT here which is as you can see this one. It is CT quite heavy, about 65 kilos, but what is more important are, as we mentioned, the connections. So first of all, since we are using volt <coughs> method to test the ratio, the red sign here says that this is where we will be doing the generation from. So we will generate on the secondary side and we will measure on the primary side. How to do the connections? So first of all, let us connect the generation but before that let's look at the cables we have two cables which are for the two uh, x1 so the first connection of the current transformer the first step and in my case x5 so the most extreme one I have here as you can see maybe you cannot see but this is x1 then I have x2 x3 x4 and an x5 so my first step is taking this one and connect it. So I'm going to do it like this. I'm going to do it like this and my colleague will help me now just to hold the camera. Thanks. So what I'm doing right now, you just need to follow the colors. You can also see here that it says high voltage and I'm going to connect this one here and then I have SX and this goes to the most to the last tab so in my case s5 so two connection one cable and on the other side of that cable i have here the high voltage one so high voltage mark and the clamp and now i'm going to connect this to h x5 so this is what i connected the second step is connecting the neutral so we will connect this between you can see the white one s1 and the neutral black one so just follow the color it's color coded and then this one will go to x1 so this is now x1 this is and that way we connected the extremes so what's going to happen now i will now connect x2 x3 and x4 or s2 s3 and s4 using these cables here so they're they're nice cables they seem like silicon cables so this is s2 being connected here and then we have s4 we can also read from this s4 will connect here s4 and the third one is of course s3 so this is now s3 and we are connecting that here and with this we have connected the secondary side one thing remaining is now connecting the primary side and for primary side we will use these cables they are quite long 13 meter cable the other ones are somewhat shorter and we also just need to follow the color code so black one here is P1H1, P1H1 is connected here and I also need, no sorry, wrong side, this one is P1H1 because it has the screen and the screen goes here like this and I'm going to connect the other one, the other one also has color coded connector, blue one you can see that it is P2H2, so I'm connecting this and I'm connecting here. So right now we have all this connected, the only thing remaining is to connecting it to the transformer, current transformer itself, and I'm going to do that by using this current clamp. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pass this, excuse me, I'm going to pass this connectors, these wires, these cables to here, like this, and connect here and here. And 
that's how you connect your CT with your uh, ICT-1. Once again, the primary side which we have just connected, which has grounded, which has shielded cables, and the extremes of the secondary side, which have two connectors here, and all the switching is actually done internally. So, first we will be doing, for example, ratio between these two positions, then these two positions, then these two positions, then these two positions. And that's how we do the test. Thank you.